Chelsea Torres had a chance to speak to some of the rescuers and Chelsea, what did they tell you? Well, Katia, we spoke to the U.S. Coast Guard rescue team and they basically told us that it took them about six and a half hours on Friday just for that search and rescue mission. And, you know, it's a mission that resulted in two crew members being rescued right after that explosion. For something like this, it's not in any book. It's not in any training. It was more um, kind of get on scene. And as a crew, we made the best plan we could given the circumstances. Lieutenant Dan Gallus was one of the pilots that helped rescue those two crew members on Friday. He says before arriving on scene, they were not sure what to expect. The surrounding area, everything, the grass was burning, the barge was on fire. There's a lot of just fire and our, our biggest priority at that point was keep the aircraft safe so we could actually do some good. John Teeter, the flight engineer who hoisted the crew members to safety, describes his first few moments with the crew members. Even when we came in to get them, they didn't even look at us. And to me, that screams like that they're still in shock. They don't really know what's going on. Teeter says the first question he asked them was if there were other people in the water. Even, you know, in the helicopter, it's really hard to see people. It's it's Sometimes it's little dots. We were trying to figure out, is there any, any more people there? Can we get more people out of the water? And, you know, he told me no. Tater says you could feel the heat of the fire and notice the crew members splashing themselves with water. They were burning, so they were splashing water on themselves, trying to, you know, help that as much as possible. A rescue swimmer, also EMT trained, was able to help the crew members with their burns. Once the crew members were taken to the hospital, the rescue team briefly basked in their moment of heroism. Um, I don't think it was until we landed at the hospital and got the guys transferred that I kind of turned to the rest of the crew and we all gave ourselves a look about, you know, what, what did we just do? And within seconds, you know, we asked, I asked the crew, are we good to head back? And every single one said, Let's get back there and find more people. And we were heading right back to the fire to try to get more people out. Pretty amazing what they can do and how they were able to accomplish it. As of now, the U.S. Coast Guard says that they are still working on pollution and salvage efforts and making sure that that ship channel, that area of that ship channel is clear. Reporting live from the Port of Corpus Christi, Chelsea Torres, Chris 6 News.